Um, so we are the people from Chat Ed Club, um, and this is our very first Ignite Talk. So basically in our Ignite Talk, we'll be giving a short one minute speech just on what our talk will be about. So this is still within our actual real TEDx talk, um, but then hopefully this event will be sort of a promotion for our real TEDx speech. Um, so these are just like short speeches. We'll be talking about what we want to talk about in our TED Talks. Um, some people will have multiple ideas, um, but then yeah, hopefully this will get you guys excited about um, a real TEDx event. <laughs> so I'm going to be, my TED Talk is going to be about like the everyday struggles of a teen, like primarily in high school. And I feel like most, if not all teens, go through one of the three things I've written down, which is like social hierarchies in the high school slash pre, pre peer pressure, <laughs> the bad effects of like social media and how like bad grades shouldn't define you. Um, I'm going to be using my personal experience in American high schools because I've had like quite an experience these last two years, so thank you. Um, so my topic is about um, living a life with multicultural and the three topics we'll, I'll be like, focusing on, the three points, is the first point is um, how I like, live in one country for my whole life. So I don't really fit like I don't really feel like I exactly fit into just like one culture because I'm me too. And the second point is um, the ability to like speak multiple languages and discover like multiple cultures. I think that's really important because especially because like I have two cultures and I shouldn't I feel like I should just fit into one and only like think about just one that like many. And the third point is um being able to accept others and appreciate like diversity of countries. I think this is also really, really important because um, like there are many people like me who have different cultures and like multiple like con countries where they come from. And I think it's important to like accept those people. Yeah. Thank you. Um, basically, I have three points I would like to share with everyone. The first point is that there's Japanese school life for nine years. Uh, truth be told, this is my first year in NIS, and before that, I was in Japanese public school for nine years. So I would like to talk about what Japanese school looks like, uh, what I learned in Japanese school, and the positive thing and negative thing in Japanese school. Then next point is my life, my first day in NIS, because the system in NIS surprised me a lot even now. So I like to talk about what what kind of things surprise me. Then last thing is show your appreciation to everyone who gave, our, gave us opportunity. Because I feel I only joined NIS for a few months, so I already feel NIS has many good opportunities that such as like I didn't I couldn't have in Japanese school. So I really want to talk about like how lucky we are. Yeah, thank you. So I had many ideas, but I narrowed it down to this topic because I feel the most passionate about it and it's following your passion. And I have three points that go into uh, how following your passion affects your day, the things you do in your daily life. So the first point is how it affects relationships. And the second point is how it affects your happiness. And the third point is how it affects your success. Um, these are all points that help to further communicate that idea. Thank you. Um, I'm still <clears throat> I'm still contemplating about what I really want to talk about, but I'm leaning towards human behavior. And we've evolved a lot, and that means we have more social problems and, I guess, different opportunities every day, which shape who we are. And I want to focus on how we manage our stress and how we manage who we are every day. Thank you. So for my TED Talk, I was planning to talk about um, our ability to empathize and what happens when we do choose to empathize. So this summer I went or I volunteered at a kids summer camp um, for a whole week. Um, and this camp was for children who are not as privileged or as fortunate as other kids. So sometimes they would grow up with a single parent. Um, and then for my TED talk I want to be talking about my experience volunteering at this camp and what happened when I was empathizing. And what I think it's important for people to know is that empathy is very different from sympathizing with people. And that when we do choose to empathize, um, we do really do start opening up to the other person. But then the other person would also open up to you and build a better relationship with you. So these are some of the things that I would be talking about in my time. Thank you.
So, uh, as she said, uh, um, I'm talking about wanting to be special and how people will have a desire to stand out or make a difference in uh, our modern world, especially where there's so many people that have all these intertwining lives that they have to do every day. People might want to stand out and you know, seem, seem special. And so, uh, I want to talk about how specialness isn't really something that you're born with. It's something that's based in the way you react to things and how you cope to things. Uh, it kind of has to do with our little, little image here. And uh, finally, it's more branched into something completely unrelated to the one special. It's misplaced goals. And about how you become special by doing other things instead of being good at things because you are special. It's not really the other way around. Of course, I'm going to write off uh, David Bowie to talk about all of these things because he's just a great example of most of them. Thanks.